It will be a good night in police cells for Pastor Ezekiel Odero of New Life International Church in Mavueni in Cliffy County. Okay. Is arrest coming a day after interior CS Kidure Kindiki toward the region and hinted at a probe into another clergyman stationed in the same county? Odero, who was arrested at his church early today while getting ready for a service, was taken to police headquarters in Mombasa for interrogation over links to controversial preacher Paul McKenzie and claims of people dying at his church. Odero will know his fate tomorrow, with police saying that investigations are underway. We are arching and giving information to the public that that prayer center has been closed down and whoever was in there has been cleared out. The New Life International Church in Mavueni has also been closed indefinitely, resulting in uproar from followers of Pastor Ezekiel who held demonstrations outside the church premises. Tulikuwa tunaingia asubuhi ya kwamba tuweze kukutana na mtumishi wetu maana mimi nilitoka Nakuru, nikikuja hapa kwa sababu nilikuwa, nilikuwa mgonjwa, nilikuwa ninatapika damu, na pia nilikuwa nimekufiwa. Siju watasaidiwa na nani? Eh? Kama hata mwenye anataka kuona pasta warusiwa, waende hapo mali yuko, hawaombe akiwa hapo. The congregants who have been barred from entering the church premises are calling on authorities to release Pastor Ezekiel, whom they insist is innocent. Wataka Pastor Ezekiel, arudi. Asiporudi talala nayo huko huko leo. Ulipoenda huko police 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 station huko talala nayo leo. Kwa leo venye kanisa imefungwa hakuna biashara hatujauza. Sasa sijui serikali mnataka tuanzie wapi. Interior CS Kidure Kindiki while confirming the arrest of Pastor Odero says the preacher is being processed to face criminal charges related to mass killing of his followers at the church premises. He added that the over 100 people who were holed up at the premises have been evacuated and be required to record statements. <laughs> A section of religious leaders from Mombasa are asking police to conduct their investigations and not victimize all religious leaders of a few who are wayward. We want to reiterate that whatever happened in Shakaola, is an isolated case and it will be very unfortunate if the whole church in this nation is lumped together and condemned for what is happening or what has happened in Shakaola. Tayari kanisa lisha thibitiwa na uthabitiwa ke ni sheria ya nchi ya Kenya ishatibitiwa kwa sababu katika taifa la Kenya kuna sheria ambayo zimebuniwa majuzi ya kwamba kila kanisa liwe chini ya mavuli ni kitu gani serikali inaficha ambacho hawataki mwananchi ajue kwa sababu kama mambo yanaendelea ni vema yatolewe waziwazi yajulikane hii mambo ya kuseba kwamba waandishi wa habari wasiangazie vitu vinavyoendelea inatupatia do, eh, kwamba kuna dosari Pastor Odero arrest comes a day after DCI officers questioned him of a links with Pastor Paul McKenzie at his church in Mavueni. Dan Kaburu K24, Nairobi.